Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speedstar here, ready to run through another episode of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Last time we began the game as the Ammo Baron was attacking Scuttletown. And we got summoned to court now that, uh, now that Ammo Baron owns the town. Apparently attacking him results in getting summoned to court. Anyway, in this episode, first off, we're going to go up here and meet up with Sky. Shante, I thought they had you under lock and key. Uh, I'm on my way to the palace library to get something to read, you know, to pass the time. Can I borrow your library card? You read a book? This I have to see. And then there you go, you get Sky's library card. Just don't ruin this card like you did the last one. I nibble and I'm nervous. <laughs> That, that's adorable right there. Anyway, I was thinking of uh, showing off a bit of Scuttle Town this episode, but we're going to be coming back here pretty quick after we finish up over at Sequin Land Palace. So, let's go here. Let's see that library card. Now, if you talk to this guy before you go to the save room, he will force you to... He will not let you pass until you've at least saved your game, so... Just just save at least once before you go on. And here we are, Scarecrow feels this awesome music! I'm, I'm sorry, I always love this music here. It just it just has the right feel of how this adventure is gonna be going. I, I don't know if that's how you guys feel, but uh, it's just so good. Okay, so yeah. I'm just cutting these guys down because I need to grab gems. I'm probably going to grab some more gems off camera after I end the episode because there is some things I do want to get at the shop. Pipe Ball is not really one of them because you can, you can find a lot of items from enemies as you defeat them. Anyway, okay, going up here, you found a heart squid. Heart squids in this game are basically the equivalent of pieces of heart from Legend of Zelda series. However, you don't get you don't get like another heart container or anything right away when you get four of them. I'll get into that later. Or in the next episode. Okay, another pipe ball. Meat chunk lid. That's a pretty good healing item for where we are right now. And I mean, it's a pretty good item. There are others that are even better. One of them being the shop exclusive, I guess. Anyway, heart squid up there. We cannot get this one yet. We're gonna have to ignore that one for a while. Anyway, save guy right here. Not really any need to save right now. I'm sure you remember these guys from the other Shantae games. And like in those games. Uh, these guys too, but like in the other Shantae games, whenever you defeat those guys, they just burst into a whole bunch of bones. Anyway, these guys are a little more than just a couple hits to defeat. I don't really know their exact health, and I kind of wish I, I could get some statistics on health and such. Because I really want to do that for bosses. That's a thing I want to do. Excluding Ammo Baron, of course, because he's basically just a starting boss, and there's not really anything worth pointing out, and I am running low on health, so I'm going to use up that Meat Chunklet I got. Okay, I believe Meat Chunklets restore two full hearts. Okay, there's actually another heart squid around here. But that one we'll not be able to get until really near the end of the game. Okay. So, Secret Land Palace, talk to Bolo here. Bolo! What are you doing here? Everyone in Scuttle Town thinks I'm a screw up. So, I'm picking up odd jobs at the palace painting fences, installing locks, and whatnot. And now you're babysitting? Oh, the undead kids? Nah, they're just here to chew the fat. Mine. I can't escape. Got any flesh pops on you? I need three of them. You can find them in the sewers below the palace. So yeah, you have to talk to Bolo and you have to help him out. 
Otherwise, you will not be able to get in here. Oh, me, oh my, that blue head lad installed a new lock backwards, upside down, and inside out. Now we're trapped inside with our royal gate key. <laughs> uh. Anyway, when we come over here, guess who it is? It is Squid Baron from Risky's Revenge. What's the matter? Oh, you know, post boss syndrome. Now that you embarked on a new adventure, I feel like I'm destined to become some kind of filler boss. Fourth wall means nothing to Squid Baron and Shantae conversations. So yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, <sighs> I'm drawing blanks right here. So yeah, basically you're going to help him out sometime. Not right now, but you're going to be able to help him out soon. Anyway, ye royal sewers. These little guys right here have flesh pops. Flesh pops are the weakest healing items in the game, as they only as they only heal half a heart, basically. And I've already got three of them, so I should I might as well leave. But there is something down here I want to get, as well as uh, you know coming up here. Uh, there, oh there I am. Yeah, it's kind of hard to adjust between the the way it looks here and in the 3DS version, because, you know, with the 3D, it really helps for trying to find secrets and such. Anyway, I just wanted to get this heart squid down here. This is the second one we can get. And I might as well just head this way, because there is something over there, but I cannot get to it yet, because I, I lack the ability to get over there. Right, so, now that we've done that, let's go give those flesh pops to Bolo. I talked to him, but uh, there's no point right now. And that's kind of relating to what I can't reach yet. Hey, flesh pops, did you get those for me? Yes. Awesome sauce. Yeah, these will do the trick. By the way, if you're heading out to the palace, return this royal gate key, will ya? Some idiot must have lost it. Gross, it's covered in bite marks. Yeah, I found it in my mouth an hour ago. Here you go. There you go. Royal gate key complete with bite marks. I was just gonna, looking down at my uh, gamepad to uh, have a look at the description because you can see descriptions of key items and other things. Anyway, oh, could it be? You have the royal gate key. Would you pass it through to me, please? Yeah, because we kind of need it right now. Although I kind of wonder why, considering we're not supposed to come here yet. Ah, whatever. Anyway, smash that because for, for no apparent reason, because you guys are going to cut off Shanti's hair eventually. Right? I don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, there's no real reason to talk to these guys, but if you want to, yeah. This right here, don't worry about it. It's nothing right now. Anyway, talk to this guy here. A visitor. Let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, oh. This library card doesn't fool these our eyes. You used to come here all the time. The relic hunter's daughter, right? Yes, well, he's my uncle. And what's this? A court summons? So yeah, give this guy the court summons and you won't have to hold on to it anymore. Says here that. Hmm. Scissors? Jigsaw? Goat mouth? What? They mean to cut off that long, winsome hair? That will never do. Why don't I just file these papers away until the Sultana returns? I'd like to give you a knowing look now, but sadly my eyelids no longer work. Please take whatever you came for. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep saying it as Sultana for right now, because I don't know I don't know if that's correct pronunciation or not. If you, if you want to help me out with that, uh, go ahead. Just leave a comment or something, or show me how to pronounce it. Anyway, in that globe, the Forbidden Isles map. Oh, yeah. And now that we are done here, we can leave Sequinland Palace. And we don't have to come back here at all for quite a while. You can go back here later on, but there isn't much reason to. It's just a little something 
Spoil alert. Basically, Shantae's getting being let off the hook. Uh, no, there's no real reason to talk to him, so, uh... Okay, I'm at a little over 10 minutes. So there's not much else to do, really. Except just head back and maybe grab a few more gems. You know, while I'm at it, I might as well maybe show off how, what you do with the heart squids. So I'll just see you back at the, uh, yeah, I'll just see you back at Scuttletown. Okay, and we are back. So, I'm going over here to this little spot right here. I'm just gonna run here real quick. As you see, there is another heart squid that will be number three that we can get right now. There is one more we are able to get. But first off, we're gonna talk to this person right here. Scuttletown Squidsmith at your service. I take adorable little heart squids and melt them down to make more health for you. So yeah, basically, you give this you give this woman heart squids, she kills them, and you get a heart holder. Peter was probably having a field day with that kind of info. Yeah, I'm not exactly proud of PETA considering what they've been doing with uh, some Nintendo games. Pokemon Black and Blue. Anyway, it takes four to forge a heart holder. So, yeah, Zelda reference, I guess. And... Oh, right, I can't pass until I've given her the map. Anyway, well, what took you so long? I found this in the library, a map of the Forbidden Isles, just like you said. Huh, I guess a little good for nothing is something good for something after all. You get a forbidden map. So, will you let me help? Only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The Pirate Master is my foe to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a deal. Let's beat this guy together and save Sequin Land. Hold on. How do I know you won't pull a fast one? Would I lie to you? Say hello to the steam-powered oceanic tinker tub Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happened to it! Get on board before I change my mind. Right. I I forgot all about this. So, uh, yeah, we'll just head back to Scuttle Town and then we'll move on to the first island afterwards. Because I just want to get this done real quick. I, for I, I forgot all about that. Anyway, heading back here to Shantae's home, there is a Cackle Bat. So I might as well take care of it first. Might as well... Come here, you! So yeah, Cackle Bats now probably have a little more health and are not as easy to defeat. At least is what I think. Anyway, second Dark Magic. There is a total of 20 that you're supposed to get. And, of course, I will be getting all 20 of them. And then back here, last heart squid before we can, uh... Before we can get another heart holder. We can go back there if we want, but there's nothing there until around the end of the game, really. There is one more... There is one more thing there, but, uh... It's not really important. So anyway, head down to the Squidsmith. Skip through this. Now that we have four. And... Boom! Four heart squids, now dead. No to be surprise. And now we have three hearts, so basically we have 12 health. I just wanted to get that out of the way, because believe me, you will probably want to get those heart squids before you take on the first island. I learned that the hard way. Okay, so 15 minutes, so I will just head to the save room, and I will save there, and then we will continue on in the next episode. So yeah, when we run through the next episode, I will show you a little more Scuttle Town, I'll have some more gems, and we'll take on the first of the Forbidden Isles. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.